He's Green Bay's all-time best. He played in the NBA. He was National Coach of the Year and is now leading his Virginia Cavaliers into the Sweet 16. No question, Tony Bennett is somebody special, at least outside of his family. He's just really still my little brother. I have to always throw that in. Um, I mean, he, yeah, he's big in, I guess, the basketball world, but not to me, not to my kids. He's just still Tony. The youngest of three with sisters Amy and Kathy who helped with his dream. Forcing me to go rebound with him or, you know, setting up. I don't know, he always had the toss back with a sheet over it, so all he could see was the rim, and he would just work and work and work. Now, of course, Dad, Coach Dick Bennett, wasn't too bad himself, and I would assume encouraged his son to follow in his footsteps. Honestly, I think I would say the opposite. <laughs> I think he, or maybe it was more my mom saying, don't do this, look what it does to people. Dan doesn't attend many games. Sitting still and keeping quiet, not his strong points. Maybe he wants to control some of it and he knows he can't and he can be volatile and yell and he shouldn't yell and TV cameras are watching him so it's better if he stays home. Tony, relatively serene. I think that's my mom's side more in him. Um, I think Tony just has more of a calmness. As for the nephews and nieces, their allegiance to Uncle Tony includes head carving, but it's that other coach who still commands their attention. Who's a better teacher of basketball, your uncle or your grandpa? <sighs> I'd have to say my grandpa. Oh yeah? You know, They're I'm both a... really good, but okay. I think my grandpa taught him, okay. and that's where it come, came from. Who's more intense? Oh, my grandpa. Oh, grandpa. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> hands down. Hands down. Even just in the driveway shooting around? Oh, yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Okay. Play some defense. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he still has it. Mino, NBC 26.